Hey, Mike from BlindsOnline.com. Uh, I'd like to show you how to measure for your uh, Roman shades today. Okay, so before we actually start the measuring process, I'd like uh, to recommend that you guys all go to our website at BlindsOnline.com and print out a copy of the measuring worksheet. This is going to make your life a whole lot easier. It'll keep things organized and it'll lessen the risk of making a mistake. Okay, so once you get onto the home page, you'll see at the very lower part of the page, you can print this out. Uh, and I recommend printing one page for each shade that you plan on ordering. Okay, so once you have that, and of course you'll need some, something to write with, so that you can write down the different measurements and whatnot, uh, you'll need a steel measuring tape. Uh, steel measuring tape, not a vinyl tape or sewing tape. Uh, this is going to give you the most accurate measurements, so please try and get a hold of the steel tape. All right, once you have that, then you're ready to take your measurements. Uh, the first measurement that we're going to show you how to take today would be for an inside mounted shade. Inside mounted meaning that the shade is going to be mounted to the inside of the window frame. Okay, And in order for us to mount the shade inside the frame, you're going to need at least one inch of window depth. Okay, That's the, the depth of the window frame itself. Uh, now, in this case, we have plenty of window depth, so we're going to measure for the inside mount. And the first measurement that we're going to ask that you take would be the top width measurement. The top width measurement would be from the far left to the inside of the window to the far right. In this case, I'm coming up with about 23 and 1 eighth. Okay? Then we're going to slide the tape measure down to the center of the window, and we're going to take that same measurement. Okay, and here I'm coming up with about the same thing, about 23 and an eighth. And what we're doing is we're just making sure that the window frame is square, because if it's out of square, you might have some issues when the shade is being raised and lowered. And then the third measurement we'd like you to take is the very lower part of the window frame. And in here, I'm actually coming up with 23 inches. So look at that. The window is actually out of square by one eighth of an inch. Okay, so now that we have those three measurements, uh, we're going to ask you to provide us with the smallest of those three measurements rounded down to the nearest one-eighth of an inch. In this case, that's going to be 23 inches. So your width measurement for the inside mounted shade will be 23 inches. All right, so we have our width set. Now we need the height. And again, we're going to ask for three measurements. And we'd like you to measure the far left of the window. And we'd like you to measure to where the shade is going to hang to. In this case, it's about 36 inches, which is the very bottom of the window frame. Uh, then we'd also like you to measure the center, about the same. And in the far right, we're coming up with about 35 and 3 quarters. So it looks like it's a little bit longer on the left side and a little bit shorter on the right. So we'd like you to supply us with the longest of those three measurements because we want to make sure that when the shade comes down, it doesn't fall short and it rests flush on the windowsill. Okay, so that's basically what we need for an inside mount. Now let's say you don't have enough depth and you really can't mount the shade on the inside of the window frame or you don't want to mount the shade on the inside of the window frame. Well, the other option would be to mount it on the outside of the frame. And on the outside of the frame, you have two options. You can either mount it directly to the window trim or you can mount it just above the window trim. And we'll show you how to measure for both. But the first measurement that we're going to ask for is the width. And the width will be the measurement from the far left of the window trim to the far right of the window trim. And in this case, I'm coming up with about 27 and 7 eighths, which will be just enough for what we need. We don't need to really measure any additional width measurements because this is going to be sitting outside the frame. There's no risk of the shade rubbing on each side. So we'll stick with that first measurement that we came up with, which was 27 and 7 eighths. So we have our width measurement, outside width 27 and 7 eighths. Now we need the height. Now, first height measurement that we'll take will be from the very top of the window frame because let's assume that we're going to mount the shade to the top of the window frame. So we'll attach our tape measure to the very top and we'll measure to where we want the shade to hang to. In this case, I would say 40 and a half inches. Now if you had a window sill protruding from the window, 
and the shade is going to stop at the windowsill, then we'll measure to the windowsill. So basically this height measurement is measured to where you want the shade to stop, where you want it to end. Okay? And in this case we're looking at about 40 and a half inches. So we have our width, we have our height. Now if you choose to mount the shade up above the trim to the wall, then we need to add at least one additional inch to the height so that the bracket has some room to be mounted to the wall. Okay, so that would be our, our height would be from the top of the frame to where we want the shade to hang, and then just add one additional inch for the bracket to get mounted to the wall. As far as mounting the bracket to the wall and how we do that, we'll get into that on the installation video, but for now, I just want to concentrate on what the measurements are uh, that we require when you place an order with BlindsOnline.com.